Hello, Shamai. Uh, my name's Joe, and I just want to go over my record store day drop one twenty one haul uh, for what I got on the day. So I got my record store day tote bag here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to dive into what it was that I got. So uh, we'll say normally I tend to go more for hip hop kind of vinyl, uh, but there wasn't a massive array of what I was after really in terms of hip hop in uh, at least this first drop so um, I got a lot of pop records I will say um, and some soul as well but let's run through this now so the first record I got here is Ed Sheeran's A Team and I was mad happy to see this when it went up on the Record Store Day website I absolutely love this track it takes me way back it's obviously the 10 year anniversary of it, it takes me way back to at my brother's house uh, when my first nephew now my oldest nephew was born uh, that year and uh, yeah my brother always just used to have the charts uh, channel playing with like all the music videos and more or less every single time i went over to his to see him and my nephew you know this video music video will be playing so yeah, I'm just mad stoked to have this uh, copy and I have every other Ed Sheeran vinyl as well, apart from collaborations number five, really. So I do need to get that. But yeah, mad happy to get this thing. And the thing is as well, I didn't even ask them, because normally I'm a bit cheeky and I ask them to give me the lowest number that they have. Um, but I only got home and I remember that it was limited and I got number, let's see that, 43 which I'm well happy with. I don't know how many they pressed of this. I can't find the quantities anywhere, but from seeing other people's posts and stuff that people have listed on eBay, uh, the highest number I've seen is about 7,000 and something. So to have number four, three is, uh, yeah, I'm well happy with that. And um, I also got Amy Winehouse remixes. I mean, Amy Winehouse has an incredible voice. Uh, so that was a big plus for me. Plus. All I had to do really was listen to the track You Know I'm No Good with uh, Ghostface Killer on the track. Unbelievable. I mean, the record alone was worth buying just for that one track for me. It was so good. And this is on a really, really nice yellow and blue vinyl pressing as well. I haven't played any of them yet. Uh, I am waiting to receive. I, I'm, I've ordered like a tone um, weight thing just so I can make sure that I'm tracking. So I'm a bit worried about the pressure on my needle. But yeah, I cannot wait to play this when that arrives. And yeah, I'm so stoked to get it. And I got this from a record store uh, called Flipside. In So if anybody's in Cardiff or that kind of area, highly recommend this place. It's just off Albany Road. The guy who owns it is a really, really nice guy. I was chatting to him in there for ages, uh, just about records in general. And yeah, it's a little gem of a shop. And yeah, I was mad, uh, lucky enough to grab this whilst I was in there. Uh, let's have a look. And also, I was one of the very lucky people in the UK to grab a copy of Chromatica Lady Gaga. So yeah, I was just mad lucky to be able to grab this, to be honest with you. It's not my favourite Gaga album, but it's got some amazing tracks on it. And it's I could not believe how high in value this one went. Like I did not expect this to be the high ticket value item of this year's drop. But I mean, I'm just, I'm mad lucky. I didn't think I was gonna get it. Um, I saw all the people commenting about trying to get it on the day and I was like number 13 in line at my store when I got there. I got there for like, I left the house at quarter past four and I got there for 10 to five and I was like number 13. And I, the guy two ahead of me was getting it. I knew for definite because we were all chatting in line. So I was like, there's no chance in hell I'm getting this. There was like another guy a couple of things down who literally had a massive box full of stuff. And I was like, he's definitely at least getting this. And I know shops in the UK had very limited numbers of them. I know it was something like 800 were pressed in the UK. And then there's 11,000 worldwide or something. But I mean, some of the shops online are just selling them for ridiculous money. It's unbelievable. But yeah, I hate the fact that people do that. It's terrible. Um, yeah, I think not much more I can say about that really. And then lastly of my record store day purchases was 
Al Green, uh, Give Me More Love. This, it's probably, of what I've got for Record Store Day, this is probably the one that is the, I would say, the least hard to get. In terms of, there was 7,000 of them pressed. I didn't see an awful lot of people mad rushing to get it. It's still, I think, available today, two days after Record Store Day. But it was the one I most wanted to get. Um, it's the one I was most looking forward to getting and playing. And I mean, I'm gonna take this out because this is just to me incredible. Like the packaging is just unbelievable. Got this, all the, well, not all, but a lot of his albums there on display on there. Matches obviously with the cover. And then you've got the actual vinyl itself which I just love this color play it's like it's just so nice and the I know that the tracks on it are incredible from when I've listened to them like this is just to have this is just unbelievable you know I'm slowly building a great collection of uh, colored pressing Al Green vinyl um, and I can't wait to get more of it I've got the VMP uh, one I've got the one from last year's record store day as well, so I'm just mad happy about that. Um, and I did buy another record on the day um, that isn't record store day, uh, but what I did actually this was to do with Chromatica. So I went to two record store days. I went to Spiller's Records where I queued to get the L Green Chromatica and the Ed Sheeran, and then I went to Flipside afterwards to get the Amy Winehouse one. Um, and then there was another record store that I knew that was doing it called Diesel Records. And I knew that they had copies of Chromatica and I saw a few people on my Instagram account that didn't manage to get a copy um, and I just thought by chance I'll cycle down there see if I can find a copy of it uh, see if I could you know just sell it to them not for you know inflated prices but just for what I pay uh, unfortunately the guy there told me that he had two copies of it and they sold out after the third person queuing up for the store but I had a backup record that I wanted to buy from there anyway which was Ben E. King and yeah this is just again the ultimate collection it's such a good album this is actually what I listened to when I got back home because I was obviously sleep deprived I was knackered I cycled to three record stores in one day on four hours sleep from the night before so I literally just got home uh, later on chucked this on um, it's got so many incredible songs his voice is amazing yeah I threw Benny King on and I just relaxed out and just yeah and there was another item that I tried to get and I'm still fingers crossed hopeful for and that was Life Aquatic uh, but it's only pressed in the US but I did ask Spillers Record uh, if they could get it and they said that they can sometimes get imports from America uh, so they did tell me when I went there to send them another follow-up email because they haven't got it but they'll still see if they can try and get it in um, and I literally just got a response back this morning from them I followed up with the supplier it hasn't been received yet by them and having checked if it's likely to appear this was their response so they said well yeah it could still happen for sure maybe after this week there's very uh, there's very little chance uh, so they just apologized saying sorry that's such a big message to give you uh, but basically contact them in a week and hopefully we can get it. Uh, it's I, hope, I do hope that I do grab that one, Life Aquatic. I love that film. I love the artwork. The, I haven't seen the vinyl colour yet, but I just know. I think it's kind of like a similar blue to the top I'm wearing now. I just, I really, really want to get it. It's such a good soundtrack. It's David Bowie songs sung in Portuguese, you know, mixed in with actual David Bowie songs and just some great hits. You know, I I just really, really want to get that soundtrack. I did also like Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind, but I couldn't afford all of that, especially with the second drop coming up as well now. But yeah, so I'm mad happy with everything that I got. I managed to technically get everything that's on my list. You know, I'm not quite counting Life Aquatica as being on my list just because it's not available in my country. So I'm gonna have to see about that, you know, see in a week's time and i do want to give a shout out to uh, emma's underscore jamming on instagram uh, i saw her doing a haul video really really lovely instagram account displaying vinyl records 
sent a message just saying like, wow, well, great whole video, making me consider doing one. Uh, and she just said like, yeah, you definitely should. And I have, so there you go. And I hope to do a lot more of these videos. I don't really like myself on camera. I'm a film student, but I like being on the other side of cameras. So this is completely alien to me. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching if you've come this far. Uh, see ya. Uh, just editing the video now. I uh, just wanted to put a little thing at the end just to say to go follow me on Instagram. I'm the underscore vinyl underscore dude, D-double-O-D. -O -O uh, yeah, thank you again.